Hey guys, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm unboxing or unbagging, yeah I guess it's unboxing, my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus or no my BoxyCharm by Ipsy for the month of July. It doesn't seem like it's possible that it's like the middle of July already. Uh, so this is the new box. This is what the new bo box looks like. Glam Bag, BoxyCharm, Icon Box, Refreshments. I think it's funny that they had Ipsy boxes and then they printed new boxes that say Ipsy, although it's called BoxyCharm by Ipsy, right? That's what it's called. Like this is the BoxyCharm box by Ipsy. Why it says Ipsy in big letters on it, I have no idea. But this is what the new box looks like. Let's get into my box for July. Um, I had problems last, last month with things not coming and missing items. I believe I've got everything in here that I'm supposed to. Uh, there's a little magazine here. Uh, Ipsy.com, BoxyCharm, Ipsy. So I, I don't even know. It's like they have a major identity crisis and even Ipsy doesn't know what to call them because it literally says Ipsy inside the box too. I mean, I know it's Ipsy is the parent company they bought BoxyCharm, but I thought they were saying that this level like the Glam Bag Plus level was BoxyCharm by Ipsy, but it seems like they're still calling it Bo Ipsy, so I don't know. All right, so this is what we're looking at. The Great Escape uh, inside shows Power Picks. Definitely not this month's Power Picks. Maybe those are for next month because I don't think I saw anyone get those, and I don't... Yeah, I think these are... Power picks for August. So these are the sneak peeks because I know I've seen that Murad toner. There's a glow recipe product. So those are the power picks, some of them. Um, and then yeah, it shows the Mega Drop Shop and the Smashbox edit, which I think that just went live. Um, yeah, so build your August box on the second. And I don't know why they're putting that in. I much preferred the little postcard showing the information about the items that we got. So I don't know. Okay, let's get into the items in my box. This is the first thing that they chose for me. This is the First Aid Beauty Oil Control Moisturizer. This is mattifying and hydrating. Um, I'm excited about this. At first I was not, but I've heard a lot of great reviews about this. A lot of people love this. Um, so I'm excited to try it out. I have uh, a tried and true mattifying daytime moisturizer that I use all the time. But uh, this might go into my rotation. I actually have like several backups of my favorite moisturizer. It's the uh, Grown Alchemist uh, mattifying, I don't remember what it's called, but it's a mattifying moisturizer in a little white tube, looks like toothpaste. I love it, I use it every day and it is amazing. So I will try this out um, at some point and see how it compares. Um, but yeah, so that's the first item that Ipsy chose for me. And then the second item that they picked for me is this vitamin C cleanser. Um, it's a brightening cleanser from Rodol, and it says it's to brighten and renew. Um, I don't know. I don't know much about this. I've heard this is a good brand. I don't know if I've even used anything by Rodol, honestly. Um, but I have a ton of cleansers. I also have like several that I love, including my like tried and true uh, to love face wash, but you know, I'll use this eventually it will get used so it's not a bad item it's just not like super exciting and that's kind of what I felt about this month's box it's like they're not bad items they're just definitely not the most exciting so this is the first item that I picked um I actually picked this for my daughters to use because I was not excited about anything in this category um so this is a Kate Somerville Eradicate acne treatment um Surprisingly, I've never used this before or had this. Um, I won't use this, but my daughters will. So uh, I don't even know much about it. I One of my daughters has been using uh, calamine lotion on her acne, and she was telling me that that's basically what this is because I was telling her that I'd gotten this and that they could use it. Um, it says it's 10% sulfur is the active ingredient. So I don't know if this is really the same thing as calamine lotion, but maybe it kind of does the same the same concept. So supposedly you're not supposed to shake it up when you use it. You just dip a q-tip in it um, 
it looks pretty shaken up right now it's like shaking as I am holding it but you dip a cotton or q-tip in there and then put it oh yeah it says do not shake hopefully that's not hurting it by shaking it I'm assuming it separates again if it did get shaken up but anyways that was the first item that I picked. Not anything that I'm excited about, but my daughters will definitely use it. So, you know, it'll get used. Okay, this is the second item that I picked. This is the Ace Beauté Seal It Makeup Setting Spray. Um, this is 100 milliliters or three fluid ounces, or does it say 3.5? Yeah, 3.5 fluid ounces. So there were actually two setting sprays in the choices this month. Um, the other one sounded like it was much more of like a glowy, setting spray. This one I couldn't really find reviews on online, but uh, I'm kind of a sucker for trying new setting sprays, so I will definitely use this. So, a useful item. Am I excited about it? No, but it's definitely useful. It will get used. Um, I'm actually getting low on setting spray, so yeah. And I don't know if this is a mattifying one, because I normally use a mattifying setting spray, so I may uh, try it and then maybe save it for winter when my face doesn't need a mattifying spray as much as during the summer. So anyways, that was the second item that I chose. And the third item that I chose is this product that is gonna, can you see it? Uh, the Misho Lip Shine Sheer Lip Balm, and it's in the shade Worthy. Um, again, there was nothing super, I can't get it open, there we go. Nothing super exciting in category three, but um, I'm kind of a sucker for lip balms. So that's what it looks like. Just a basic, um, I'm assuming lip balm, it's lip shine. Yeah, sheer lip balm. So this I'll probably throw in my purse so I can like throw it on multiple times throughout the day. Is it exciting? No, will I use it? Yes. So that's kind of my theme for this month's box. Like. Not exciting, but mostly useful products. Um, and then I had two point redemption items. Um, this one's actually from, it seems like two months ago, but I'm not sure. This is the Mellow Lip Pencil Crayon in Rose. Um, this is a full size item, but it was a like 600 point. So like the deluxe, I should be showing you the color, the deluxe sample size. Um, so I don't really use lip liner very often, but I probably should. So I picked that up. I had some points that were gonna expire two months ago, so I redeemed my points for that. And then I just recently got this. This is the Il Maquillage uh, Icon High Volume Intense Curl Mascara. I've got quite a few mascaras, but I've never used this one. So um, again, I was just kind of trying to use up my points because it seems like there's never really anything exciting in points and I had quite a few that were getting ready to expire. So I picked that up. So anyways, that's gonna do it. That is my Foxy Charm by Ipsy, believe that's the correct name, for the month of July 2023. What did you think of this month's box? Like, it wasn't bad. These were, I wouldn't call these power picks. Like, I've been way more excited about my power picks in the past. These are like, they're decent brands, decent items. Would I have chosen them for myself? Probably not, but they're not bad. And the three items that I chose I feel the same way about like they're not bad items would i have walked into like sephora and ulta and purchased them not these specific items like i would have purchased a setting spray probably would have picked up some kind of acne treatment for my kids might have even been tempted by a lip balm but like these aren't exciting but i will use them i'm gonna stop complaining because you know it's kind of the way it is with ipsy some months are amazing and other months are like eh but Anyways, that's going to do it for that video, this video, and thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.